Good morning everybody and welcome back to Lakeside and uh, this video is about the generosity of some of my subscribers um, who have given me over the years several gifts and um, this video is of no exception really um, two people Paul over at Gal Galcom Hall um, sent me a few months ago, two buildings which he thought would look rather good on Kingsway High Street. And um, this is a picture of them. In their position, as they are at the moment. I've still got to light them internally, um, but that will be done later on. Um, so thank you very much, Paul, for those. I've never actually got round to thanking you on video for that, but they really are appreciated, mate, and they look absolutely superb, and they fit perfectly too. So thank you, Paul, for that. And the other person to thank um, is a very dear friend of mine who we've been speaking now for, together for about a year, I guess, a bit more, um, and that's Jeff Holt over at Tram Junction. And if you haven't been over there, he's quite new uh, to the model railway on YouTube anyway. Um, he's had model railways before, but um, this new layout of his is probably about a year or so old. He's rebuilt it in the last, since about Christmas, I think. And you need to go over there and have a look. Um, if you haven't done so already or not subscribed, then go over and subscribe and I will leave a link um, at the top just up here or here um, <clears throat> and if you click on that then that will take you to his channel have a look because it's interesting in the fact that as in his name of the um, model railway it's tram junction so he has got a fair few trams um, so it's not just model railways it's trams as well and um, Quite a few are motorised um, and yeah it's a very unique layout in the fact that he's got trams and trains running which there's not a huge amount of that um, going around at the moment. So as I said we've been friends for just probably just over a year now and we communicate every week um, and sometimes more and he said that he had something for me which he was sent to me and that arrived today and this is also going to go on the roadway um, at one of the ends now as you know from the previous videos I've shown I was in two minds as to where and what I would do with the car park um, I've had it up <coughs> both ends of the layout um, primarily on the right hand end um, and I thought, you know, it's not going to fit properly. And I thought, OK, it might look best on the left hand end. So I tried it there and that fitted OK, actually. But when Jeff said to me about what he sent me, I thought, well, if that's the case, then that's going to actually sit better um, on the left hand side of Kingsway High Street. So I remodeled the car park, the existing car park, and it now sits on the right hand end of the Kingsway High Street <clears throat> and that now sits uh, in my opinion really nicely uh, I say I've remodeled it at the back so it sits closer to the wall on one of the corners um, and uh, so here's a picture of that as it stands at the moment with the center island now um, near enough complete I've still got a few pathways to put through and a few other bits and pieces and of course the outside pavement areas uh, which run along will run along the outside of the bridge area so it's not totally finished by any means but it will give you some idea so that's the um, car park and that area sorted so let's see now what Jeff very kindly sent me this is amazing, it really is amazing. And there you go. So it's the Victoria Coach Station uh, card kit, which is a 
a card kit, as it says. But I didn't realise this, actually. Um, but this is going back to the early 1970s. Um, and what it was was a bus station made under the banner of Corgi down here. But it's actually made by Metcalf. So it's not in its kind of um, Metcalf packaging as we know Metcalf today in the green packaging. Uh, this is uh, primarily a Corgi product, but just manufactured by Metcalf. So as you can see from that picture, <clears throat> if I hold it up, that is going to look superb on the left hand end of Kingsway and I have two options I can either face it that way where uh, obviously the passengers come in from the entrance here and exit from there um, or if we turn the package round that's the reverse side of it and that is where Obviously, the buses are parked up, ready for passengers to embark on their journeys. And so I'm in two minds whether to show it that way round or that way round. And I probably have to make up my mind in the process of building which way I want this. Because if I want it that way round, I will probably have to turn or adjust this corner here so it comes out this way rather than that way. Um, if I choose that side then that will be fine as it is. Um, that will fit perfectly that way. Uh, so if you imagine that over here will be the bridge and the trains will be running underneath the bridge that way and this edge will be uh, up against the vaccine. I'm erring at the moment on this view here because my full of buses can actually pass this area here on the roadway and it would tend to make it look right and if I've got room I could even put some stops here so that the full of bus can come in stop and then carry on again and that's only a little um, magnet so I shouldn't have um, any problems with that um, it's not very deep so it won't impinge on the running of the trains underneath so I shall look at that <coughs> and um, see if that will work if it does that would be absolutely brilliant because that will make that scene there far more uh, what should we say realistic and more purposeful if we see a bus coming up and stopping. Having said that, it's a shame that that side will be covered up. But I don't know. I, I will have a look and see how the kit goes. Obviously it comes in sections. You can see that this section is separate from that section. Um, so I might be able to do something with that. But we'll see when we start building it. So, <clears throat> exciting times. Um, I say this dates back to the early 1970s and in a way it's almost a shame to open it up and build the kit. But this was meant to be built. You know, it wasn't meant to stay in packaging, was it really? Um, so I think um, I will get over the qualms of having to destroy this in a way that I need to build it um, rather than leaving it in the packaging. So <clears throat> that's it. So two things really. A huge thank you to both Paul and Jeff uh, for sending me those buildings and this kit. Um, many thanks people uh, and uh, generosity on YouTube knows no bounds you know I, I see people receiving gifts uh, from like Alan did on Dragon Junction um, he received a box full of stuff um, and it just shows you what a great community this YouTube um, malarkey is 
Okay, so let's crack on. I've got a new scalpel blade in my scalpel. I've got plenty of card glue. I've just checked so that I'm all ready to start building. I won't do a video of me building this. I think that's a bit pointless, but um, I will obviously at the end, when it's in position, do a video showing this on the um, high street. Okay, so that's it for now, folks. And um, don't forget to go over to both Paul and um, Jeff's channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, have a look, see what you think. And if you like it, then subscribe. Um, I love both of those channels. And um, yeah. Okay, so bye for now. And um, I'll speak to you again later. Okay, so um, by the way, if the volume is low and you can't hear it, Many apologies, nothing I can do about it at the moment until I get a new microphone, external microphone. Okay, so bye for now, and uh, I'll speak to you later. Bye.